everyone. Thanks so much for your interest in my balloon coasters. You may recognize these. They are dry now. And as you can see, they did dry quite a bit darker. And that's what I was looking for. Um, beautiful, the gold ended up, uh, it, the gold in the cell activator ended up ringing a lot of the cells that came up. So that was really pretty. So I'm just gonna show you really quick um, how I did it and what I used for colors to, to kind of help you out in case you want to try to recreate it. So I'm doing a bigger tile here. I have a six inch, six inch hexagon and I'm just using my PPG as the pillow. Make sure I have enough. So that should be good. And I'll go over my colors really quick as I lay them down. So this is cobalt metallic, uh, metallic cobalt, sorry, um, which is an artist loft color. One of the few artist loft pinks that I still have, and I love this color. So that's the first color that I put down. And then TLP sea glass. This is Amsterdam Prussian Blue. Amsterdam Pearl Blue. Amsterdam Caput Mortem Violet. Weird color name. Beautiful color. I added a little oxide black to mine because I don't like how pale it is coming out of the tube. So that's the color palette and the cell activators are Amsterdam light gold. Right in the middle and a mix of Aquamarine and uh, Oxide Black. This is also both Amsterdam. Okay, that is the blowout and just using a straw for these areas where the cell activator is still thick. And I'm just blowing into the center, causing it to stretch and the pre-stained wood conditioner in the mix is what causes the holes to form. Or as we lovingly refer to them as cells and lacing. You want to give it a good blow, but not so hard that you get into your pillow. That should be good. Slap on some gloves. I'm gonna give this tile a bit of a tilt to move my design. basically want to center it.
and for the recipes you can refer to uh, Louise McKay's channel on YouTube she um, she's provided a wonderful set of recipes that work beautifully together so let's give it a spin The metallic cobalt comes all the way up from the bottom and just is stunning. We have good coverage all around, so I'm just going to give one more good spin and see where we're at as far as paint fall off. When the paint stops flying off is when you know it's moved as much as it's going to. It's leveled out and your paint is thin enough not to crack as it dries. Gorgeous. there you have it that is the color palette the layering and the spin I'll bring you in really quick for a close-up if I can get these gloves off so you can see what I'm seeing and there it is she is beautiful thanks for watching so this is how the tiles dried. I ended up doing a second one to go with the sets that I had already completed. And these are beautiful and shimmery. And of course, under a nice coat of resin, they will be very shiny. Right now the color seems a little dull, but we all know how that goes. Resin is like a mirror or a magnifying glass. So that's how they turned out. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.